Today, we're growing wood year mushrooms. If you're a fungi enthusiast or a curious beginner, you're in the right place. We'll guide you through the cultivation process step by step, sharing tips and insight along the way. If you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you like mushrooms, join the Shroom Scoop, your weekly fungi fix delivered right to your email inbox every Wednesday. The link is right down below. Woodyear mushrooms are a unique species with a distinct texture and shape. They contain valuable nutrients like fiber, protein, iron, and vitamin B2. Used traditionally in Asia for their health-enhancing properties, they're known to bolster the immune system and improve circulation. Beyond their health benefits, they're a versatile culinary ingredient, adding a subtle earthy flavor and unique texture to various dishes. First off, you need a spore syringe. This is a simple device filled with mushroom spores suspended in water. Think of it like a seed packet of the mushroom world. These syringes are readily available online from many reputable suppliers. Just do a quick internet search and you'll find many options at your disposal. Next, we have the substrate. That is essentially the food that your mushroom are going to eat. For wood year mushrooms, we'll be using logs. The best logs to use are those from broadleaf trees. So get your hands on a few logs from a local wood supplier, or you might even have some lying around your yard. Also, you'll need some cheese wax or beeswax to seal up the inoculation points. You're also going to need to sterilize your equipment. We're talking about boiling water, a clean brush for scrubbing, and some alcohol for disinfecting. This step is crucial. You want to give your wood year mushrooms the best chance to grow without competing with other fungi or bacteria. Now, on to sourcing your spores. It's essential to ensure you get quality spores from a reliable source. Remember, the better the spores, the better your chances of a successful crop. Look for vendors with positive reviews. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Reach out to the vendor and discuss your needs. They're usually more than willing to help you. Let's kick things off with the first steps. Preparation. This phase can make or break your mushroom cultivation so let's get this one right. Your canvas for growing the mushroom is a hardwood log. Would your mushrooms best grow on oak, beech, or maple? You're looking for a log about three to eight inches across and three to four feet long. Freshly cut logs are the best. Ideally lopped off within the last six weeks. Freshly cut logs are the best. Ideally lopped off within the last six weeks. They're bursting with the nutrients that mushrooms love. Now get the logs sparkling clean. Brush off any dirt or loose bark, but remember to be gentle. We don't want to harm the bark. It's like a shield for your spores. Here's the crucial tip. Check the health of your tree your log came from. If that tree was home to pests or diseases, your mushroom could also be at risk. Also, we can't forget about cleanliness. Sterilizing your hands and tools is non-negotiable. We're creating an ideal environment for the mushrooms, not other unwanted organisms. A quick scrub with rubbing alcohol or a bleach water solution and you're good to go. Step two brings us to inoculation, a pivotal stage where the mushroom spores are introduced to the log. Begin by drilling holes into the log, maintaining a distance of around six inches between each hole. The depth of these holes should be around two inches. With the holes prepared, inject a spore solution into each drilled hole. A general guideline is to inject about one milliliter of spore solution into each hole. This ensures that there are enough spores to colonize the wood effectively. Once the spores are in place, sealing the inoculation points is crucial. This is done using food grade wax such as cheese wax or beeswax. Sealing helps prevent contamination from other fungi or bacteria and retains moisture within the log. Step three ushers us into the incubation stage. The logs need to be stored in an environment that supports spore growth and colonization. The ideal location is cool and shady, maintaining a consistent temperature range between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The spores are now in their growth phase, 
spreading throughout the log. To aid this process, it's vital to keep the log moist. So remember to mist the log with water regularly. This incubation period can vary greatly, ranging from six months to even a year. So patience is key during the stage. The storage area should have a high humidity level, aiming for around 80 to 90%. Regular misting with non-chlorinated water is an effective way to maintain its moisture level. If you're in a region prone to dry conditions, consider using a breathable material such as burlap to cover the log to retain humidity. Lastly, ensure the logs are not placed directly on the ground. Use bricks, stones, wood pallets to elevate them. This would prevent rot. Step four involves the fruiting stage. When colonizing of the log is complete, the mushroom begins to fruit. Initial signs are small, white bumps on the log. These mushrooms will mature into full-size wood deer mushrooms in the following days. Once they attain a mature size, typically between two and four inches in diameter, they are ready for harvest when they're that big. You should harvest them by cutting off at the base with a sharp knife. Fruiting is typically triggered by a substantial drop in temperature or heavy rainfall. These environmental changes alert colonized log to start mushroom production. Once the mushroom emerge, they grow quickly, often reaching a full size within the week. It's extremely important to monitor their growth to avoid overgrowth, which could lead to toughening and the loss of mushrooms distinct texture. Harvesting. The culmination of your efforts Harvesting your wood year mushrooms is a very exciting time. Your primary focus here is determining when your mushrooms are ready for harvesting. Typically, wood year mushrooms are ready for harvesting when they're between two to four inches in diameter, possesses a firm gelatinous texture and exhibit a rich dark color. Harvesting requires a gentle touch to avoid damage to the mycelium, the network of filaments that forms the root system of the mushroom. During this process, it is essential not to tear the mushrooms off the log, which could harm the mycelium. Harvesting involves using a knife to cut the mushroom at the base. It's important to note that each log can produce mushrooms for multiple years, with the first few years usually being the most productive. Following each fruiting cycle, allow the log approximately eight weeks rest period to replenish its nutrients before inducing fruiting again. Maintaining the integrity of the mycelium is crucial, as any damage could affect future growth. Therefore, patience and care are actually required during the harvesting process as well. 